We're in a Cisco ASA version 9. I'm going to show you how to create an access list. And an access list allows inbound traffic, outbound traffic, permits, or deny. So we're going to go ahead and get started by typing access list. And then we'll give the list a name. And it can be numbers, letters, or any combination. And we'll just call it inbound. And next thing we do is say either permit or deny. So we're going to permit. Next thing is going to be the type of traffic. If I hit a question mark, it'll tell you the different types of traffic you can permit or deny. The most popular ones are TCP or UDP, but you can see there's a lot of other objects as well. So we're going to say TCP. Now the next thing we need to do is decide if this is going to be to any host or if it's going to be uh, from a specific subnet or IP address on the outside. So we can say and then a subnet mask if we want to and that will allow of course anything in that subnet to go. But instead we're going to say any and then we need to see what type of host on the inside we're going to go to and we're going to type in host and then we type in the internal IP address name. It used to be we would type the external address but ever since 8.3 we typed in the internal address. So our internal subnet is 10.42 so we'll do 10.42 and the IP address of our server is 1.10 and then we need to type the type of traffic that we're going to allow and in this case it's a, a, an email server so we'll go ahead and say equal SMTP or you could also do e equal 25 which is the port number and hit enter. So that's how we create an access list in version 9 of the Cisco ASA.